Today, let us see how do we tackle uh, calcified coronary artery diseases. This subset of patients is a challenging subset in uh, intervention cardiology. For a normal uh, angioplasty, we just uh, uh, pre-dilate, put a stent and come out. But this calcified subset can prove to be challenging. Without treating the calcium, if we put in a stent, we will not be able to, a stent may not expand and the patient may come back to uh, with a heart attack or a stent can get blocked. Let us see what are all the uh, devices or ga gadgets to treat the calcium. One as, as simple as a balloon based devices like the semi compliant balloon or a non compliant balloon can uh, be used to crack the calcium. There are other uh, balloons like a non compliant high pressure balloon called the OPN, dual layered, double layered balloon. So these balloons, the advantage is we can go up to high pressures even up to 30 to 40 atmospheres we can go and crack the calcium. Then uh, there are other uh, latest uh, devices like IVL that is intravascular lithotripsy which is nothing but it is a balloon uh, based device called the shock wave. So we introduce over the wire and the, it is a balloon and the lesion it has to be one is to one. There are other uh, uh, gadgets like atherectomy devices like uh, rotablation or called the rotablator which is nothing but a diamond burr which uh, shaves the calcium and uh, helps the stent in expansion. There is other device called the latest uh, orbital atherectomy. So uh, orbital atherectomy also is a diamond burr device uh, which uh, uh, goes in an elliptical manner and shaves the calcium. And the last uh, device which is used is laser called uh, eczema laser coronary angioplasty. So what is this? It's a high, uh, this also is a new gadget to crack the calcium. So high frequency uh, uh, ultrasonic waves or uh, UV rays are sent and uh, cracks the calcium and breaks it down to microparticles. So there are so many options we have when we uh, plan for a uh, treatment of calcified diseases. This laser also is used in acute primary setup uh, heart attack patients also to suck out the thrombus. Also in uh, already stented patients if they have blockage we can use the laser as well in chronic total occlusion subsets laser is useful. So these devices are readily available in our cat lab so that we can give the best possible results to the patient.